Glad to have you with us tonight. I'm Brenna Rose. Another search is now underway at Oaklawn Cemetery as part of the 1921 Graves investigation. The hope is to find more victims in the same area where World War I Army veteran C.L. Daniel was recently discovered. News Channel 8's C.J. Macklin joins us now with the very latest. C.J. Mayor Bauman, Mayor Bauman, State archaeologist uh, shared that the World War I veteran was found by technology that was just released with confirmed information from Tulsa County. They believe almost 20 more individuals could be found nearby. After 103 years, the first Tulsa race massacre victim was identified just over a week ago. Now that CEO Daniel has been identified, the mayor says there are multiple bodies in that same area. Thanks to an invoice and a receipt that was identified by our historical research team is that there were 18 victims uh, that Tulsa County paid for them to be buried in Oaklawn Cemetery. Those excavations to find the other 17 victims began today. But there is a 30-year-old tree that has to be removed in order to salvage every inch of their fourth excavation. The focus will be on four barriers where there is evidence of trauma or possible trauma. Multiple victims with gunshot wounds were discovered from the first two excavations. We also know that there is a significant area in the, in the part of the cemetery where Mr. Daniels, uh, Daniel was buried that we have not excavated yet. And so today, uh, our team is back at it to continue that excavation and continue that work moving forward. This first week, we'll have a relatively small team out there where we will be doing backhoe work and removing the overburden that um, is above the level at which the graves are located, um, and then basically getting down to that level where we will encounter just um, just above where those where those caskets are. So we won't be actually excavating um, individuals this week. We're just mostly going to be getting that that overburden off the top. But next week, when their full team arrives, they plan to do fine tuning hand excavations, more specifically, and determine which ones are going to be candidates for exhumation. The state archaeologist says they are confident more victims could be found in the spot Daniel was found in because of the two known headstones that were victims. It was also in that same area. You guys can see the area behind me. There was a big tree stump there earlier. They have worked their way all the way down to the ground, so their excavations will be continued next week. We're live in Tulsa. I'm CJ Macklin. We're sorry, Tim.